click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. So today we are going to study the energy level diagram of helium Leon laser and the various transitions that occur in it. Not only that, but we are also going to study the role of helium in the helium neon lasing material. So to start with, we first of all study the energy level diagram of helium neon lasing material. So helium as a material, it is having three energy levels and these energy levels we are defining it as F1 which is the ground state followed by F2 the first excited metastable state and F3 which is the second excited metastable state. On the neon side we have the energy levels marked as E1 which is the ground state, E2 which is an excited state, E3 once again which is a excited state, E4 which is a metastable state, E5 which is an excited state and finally E6 which is a metastable state. So when the electrical pumping goes on or is switched on in the lasing material, it so happens that helium atoms will be excited to the higher energy levels and this is because of the collisions that occur due to the electrons and the helium atoms. The energy that the helium atom gains from such a kind of collision, it will so happen that it will raise the helium atom to the excited metastable states that is F2 and F3. By a rare coincidence of nature, the energy levels F2 and F3 of helium are actually coincident with the metastable states of neon that are E4 and E6 respectively. Now it so happens that helium atom upon collision with the neon atom they will give their energy to the neon atoms and after giving away the energy helium atom will actually return to the ground state. Neon atom in turn will take this particular energy and they will be achieving the excited state E4 and E6. Due to this a population inversion occurs in the neon atoms. Once the population inversion occurs in the neon atoms, the conditions are conducive for stimulated emission. Now there are always some photons which have been liberated earlier by spontaneous emissions. These photons will now stimulate the transition of the neon atoms from the energy levels E6 to the energy level E5. This particular transition will give rise to a lasing action and the outcoming laser will have the frequency of around 3.39 microns. Not only that but there is an additional transition that is taking place from the E6 energy level and this transition is from E6 to the energy level E3 and this transition is falling in the visible region and the value of this transition is 6328 angstroms. E4 also is a metastable state and there are atoms in the E4 also and this atoms which are according to the principle of population inversion right they will actually undergo stimulated emission and they will emit a radiation by making a fall from E4 to the energy level E3 and this particular transition will give rise to an IR photon of wavelength 1.15 microns. We know this fact that both now the energy levels E5 and the energy levels E3 are the excited states and hence the atoms will not stay in this for a very long time and therefore there will be a spontaneous emission and emission of incoherent radiation of 6000 angstroms will occur and the atoms will eventually occupy the energy level E2 which also is a metastable state. But there will be no lasing action that will occur from a transition 
e2 to e1 because it is very close to the ground state and due to this since the atoms all of them or rather most of them are in the metastable state e2 which is close to the ground state the neon atoms will lose this additional energy by banging against the wall or collision against the wall of the pyrex tube and due to this loss of energy they will eventually go to the ground state by the time this neon atoms are actually coming to the ground state a new pack of neon atoms has already made a transition to e4 and to e6 which are the metastable states of neon due to this we can say that the helium neon laser is actually operates in the continuous mode the intensity of the helium neon laser ranges from 1 milliwatt to around 50 milliwatt although the intensity is ranging only from 1 milliwatt to 50 milliwatt it is a very high power laser due to the coherent monochromatic radiation the role of helium is very important in this entire helium neon lasing material since the atomic weight of helium is rather low it will actually absorb the energy of the electrons more effectively as compared to that of neon not only that but since the lifetime of the metastable state of the helium is much more and due to this the population inversion condition is actually being satisfied for a more longer time finally it so happens that the helium neon ratio is of the order of 10 is to 1 hence the probability of helium transferring its energy to neon is much more than the reverse and finally since helium is a very good conductor of the thermal energy it will actually act as a coolant so there is no need of an external coolant in this particular system sincere thanks students for watching this particular video stay tuned to ekida and do subscribe to ekida thanks a lot